Concerns continue to brew over a large development proposed in West Coeur d'Alene tonight. It's called Cortair. It's been in the works for decades, and the Coeur d'Alene City Council just gave developers the green light to move forward. The development would bring new homes, city parks, and two school sites to the western edge of the city. Peter Choi explains the community's concern over the project and what happens next. Peter. Yeah, Aaron, mixed responses to this proposal tonight. I spoke to neighbors who tell me the city council's decision to approve the annexation of the Cortair development was too rushed without enough studies and consideration. So every one of these little streets that we have in our neighborhood is going to be having cars zipping up and down. Fire, police, teacher salaries, fuel for their vehicles, waste treatment. There's no pile of cash. Just in reality, just an additional burden for the city to manage. Living near the proposed development, John Harley was one of the community members at the city council meeting Tuesday night. Well, in the end, it was discouraging. Hurley says he's worried about the heavy traffic that high density neighborhoods would bring. If you have 2,800 units and say, you know, two cars per unit, you know, you're looking at a lot of cars that are going east west every day. Um, you know, through our neighborhoods. I spoke to the developer about what's next in this master plan, and the developer says two things in the planning, getting additional traffic studies done and refining infrastructure plans for water and sewer services. However, developer still needs to obtain approval for phase one of the Cortair subdivision and hopes to complete possibly by this fall or spring next year. We were just trying to get their decision to be postponed so that some more time and thought um, and studies could go in to the impact on what this development is going to have with the, the community that, that is adjacent to it. And the Kootenai County Land Company says it respects the concerns and wants to hear more feedback from the public to meet the housing needs in the city. In studio tonight, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Peter, thank you.